in this art piece i'm going to create mixed media and for mixed media you can see that uh, i'm going to use some old papers some craft papers and uh, i'm going to use some watercolors nothing fancy something very simple you can uh, use it from your home so i'm going to use only two colors in the background teal and yellow and as you can see that i'm using watercolor so for watercolor you can uh, add a lot of water to drag the paint all over the surface i'm using uh, some lemon yellow and some ochre yellow to give some bright and shiny effect in the center now i'm going to rip out the paper from the sides so it will look like a vintage paper and to give more vintage effect or more burnt effect to the side i'm using very dark brown watercolor So I'm using uh, um, a zigzag scissors. If you don't have a fancy scissors, you don't have to worry. You can use any simple scissors. And this is my colored craft paper. But um, I'm not going to use very uh, sharp uh, edges for my uh, this mixed media art piece. I'm going to rip out the edges so it will look like vintage style. So you can see that how I'm building the layers, how I'm balancing the papers, the way I'm building this, these layers, you can see that each and every layer uh, is very much visible. Here I'm using butterfly. You can also draw and color the butterfly. And this is the watercolor, black watercolor. You can just dip any circle object in the black watercolor and just add some extra interest here and there and you can use at the end some splatters of black paint if you have a glow stick you can stick all these elements if you don't have a glow stick you can use tape also at the end you can give some title to your art piece You don't have to use something fancy. Everything is very simple. Everything is um, easy, available at home. Uh, I'm purposely using the stuff which is uh, easily available at home. You can see it's so much simple, very simple and very pretty mixed media art piece. At the end, uh, if you want to give some more interest, you can uh, use charcoal pencil or if, you, or if you have any dark shading pencil you can use that for uh, at the edges of uh, these layers and you can just uh, smudge it out to create more uh, dark value around it i'm sure it, it will be much easier for everyone to create this mm -hmm. 